Hey, my love birds. This is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. This will be basically, I'm going to check and see what the energy is. I like to call this what the fuck is going on? Homecoming. <laughs> because I've been going for a while. Definitely been going for a while. And screw all of you that's been talking crap in my comments, talking about her inconsistency. Life happens, okay, Linda? I don't come to your job telling you how to do your job. But I definitely understand. I'm going to tell you something real quick. Doing this work when you're as good as me, meaning you're the real deal, you're not just making shit up, you're not just um, recording or, or, or speaking the book meanings of the cards, and you're most of the time you're very accurate. It affects your life. It gets into your life. And um, a lot of times I find myself struggling with performance, whether I want to do this. So what I had to do was I actually took a, a pay cut or like a, more like a humbling experience. And I got out here and I got an actual nine to five or well, six to two, but I got an actual job. And people may think, you know, why would you do that, Bella? You make way more than you would make working for someone else. Well, the reason I did it is more so as a means to never forget where I come from. Also, um, it helps to get out here and to, you know, uh, give service back to the community. All right. So the job that I got is more so servicing the community. When I'm sitting at home and I'm working from home and I'm constantly doing this, I'm kind of blindsided to what's going on out in the real world. And it actually began to feel like the walls were closing in on me. Okay, so I did it for a humbling experience also to teach me discipline. I have some issues of my own, you know, the way that I've been running my business you know, um, hasn't been up to the standards I need them to be, you know, being consistent um, and realizing that I am important out here because when you've been doing this as long as I've been doing this, I don't feel important. Sometimes I feel like I'm a dream killer. Um, I don't really, you know, I'm totally against opening me personally. I'm against opening Pandora's box. Um, I like to live life as a surprise. And the reason being is, you know, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. A lot of times when you open up these cards and you want to know what's going on and you're dealing with someone like me, you're going to get the real deal. What's really going to happen? And if you're having a good time, you just met somebody and you're happy, I would advise you to stay happy and, you know, don't try to look for a seer or someone who's psychic I wouldn't even try to look for them because then you're open and and you're actually seeing what <laughs> most shouldn't see okay I don't know how to say it you, you're just you, you're actually uh, becoming aware of the things that are hidden everybody has um, a level of privacy that they're supposed to have in their life and when you seek out uh, seers or psychics, you begin to know things that should be private. You open yourself up, you open your relationship up to failure, okay? And that takes a toll on me sometimes because, you know, I'll, I'll get someone who may pay for a reading and I'll advise them, listen, let's wait for a little while before we do your reading. Now, I'm doing that. If I ever did that to you, it's because... Maybe I see you got a little bit of time left on that relationship to be happy. But, you know, I get those stubborn ones that says, I pay for a reading. This, I want you to do this, Bella. I'm ready. <laughs> and then I begin to tell them and then they don't feel too good, you know, when they find out the truth. And it's because I'm not I'm not a joker. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not fake. When you come sit down in my chair, it's real. Okay. It, you're going to see what's going to happen nine times out of ten you're probably going to cuss me out and say no it's not possible everything is going great okay linda i'm telling you 
if I open up your cards, what I see and say is going to come to pass. I can guarantee that at 100%. Okay? So, that can be very frustrating because sometimes I start to feel like the dream killer. All right? So, I had to get out here and to occupy my time. On top of that, I also, my daughter went to college. Yay to me and more. Um, she's in college now. I took her uh, the 13th last weekend. And she's up there on college campus. Y'all, You guys know that was my only one. Uh, she's 18 now. And, we, you know, I came a long way. We've come a long way. And I just basically, I just wanted to discipline myself. I need to reorient myself. So now I'm coming back home. And I'm coming to check who's been in my house. And how my house has been. And I'm going to tell you this. If you truly have problems, if your intuition is eating at you, then you come sit in my chair. All right? But if everything is going good and you just met someone and you're happy, let me tell you something. Write that out. Pass me up. Find somebody that's going to lie to you. I'm keeping it real. All right? But if, if you can't fix it and you're having some problems and maybe you want to fix something because it's it's not going good, then you hit me. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. Now, like I said, this is homecoming, so I'm going to see what's been going on with you guys, what's been going on in my house while I've been gone, um, what's important. I tackle the things that are important, the things that are broken. All right, so this is not a, oh, you're going to hit the lottery, you're going to become rich and successful. And No, I, I don't see the point in that. That would be a, considered a sin to me, okay? Um, because we are not allowed to do that as readers, okay? We're not allowed to, uh, you know, predict the lottery numbers or, you know, the only time we are able to look into your kasha like that is when you are on the wrong road and what we tell you gets you back on the right road or the right path to get the uh, best results for your highest good, period. All right? All right, so let's see what's going down. Today is August 18th. Happy belated birthday. My birthday was yesterday, in case you guys did not know. I've seen a lot of people saying, but let us know it's your birthday. Yesterday was my birthday, my 40th birthday. Oh, my God, I feel old as shit. When I started this, I was like, what, 34? I'm old now, y'all. All right, so let's get into it. Spirit and Universe, just show me what's been going down since I have been gone. I think my last reading was in June. It's now August 18th. 2022 happy birthday to all of my leos out there um it still stands let me tell you something if you ever see me go missing for a while remember you could still hit me up all seeing at tarot at gmail.com i am still taking business even though i might not be uploading free videos okay i'm still taking business my um i do everything from the email you know i don't really screw with the website too much um, I do everything from the email, allseeingitarot at gmail.com. Whatever the pricing is up under the video in the description box, that's what it is. Okay? All right. All right. Show me the problems. What's going down? I'm using the Dream Keepers Tarot. I like this tarot. It's one of my newest decks. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups. The Queen of Wands. This is intuitive, okay, guys? So I'm just going to intuit it based off of what I see. I'm just taking a, a wellness check on you guys and seeing what's going down. Sorry, that was Four of Wands. This is Page of Cups. Okay, under the Three of Pentacles, we have Justice. Under the Ace of Pentacles is the Chariot. Under the Three of Cups, we have the Five of Wands. Under the Queen of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles. Under the Four of Wands, we have the Moon. 
Under the Page of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. And the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. All right. So that's the Queen of Cups. All right. So like I said, I'm looking at this as a review. Basically, just the overall look. This is not one particular zodiac sign. Well, I'll put it this way. Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces is the zodiac signs that are uh, most relevant or that there are more, more things going down in those zodiac signs than anyone else, okay? Now, I'm still going to do your intuitive bi-weekly and um, I'm going to try to squeeze in uh, a monthly. I'm only off today, guys, but um, I'm trying to de rededicate myself. You know, like I said, it's a homecoming, so I'm trying to get back in the groove to see what's happening with you. All right? Okay. Okay. All right, I done meditated on these cards, and y'all got my house all out of order or discombobulated. Now, I'm going to group this into three different sections, okay? So, I'm going to read these four cards together, these four together, and these four together, okay? Three different areas, and I'm going to um, pull clarity on it to get a little bit more information. So, the first thing that popped up, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Chariot. This speaks of new employment. So, a lot of y'all have had new employment. Some of you started new businesses. Um... Also, some of you have had a raise or like uh, you, you got into, um, what do they call that? You got elevated in your position. Maybe you got a higher position, all right? Now, with the Justice card being under the Three of Pentacles, it's saying that it was justified, okay? You worked very hard to be where you are. So, on the outside looking in, it doesn't look like there's any issues within this. But whenever I see Justice, <clears throat> I know that there's still some un underlying um, situation, some everyday uh, life things or events that are happening that nobody talks about. Sorry, guys, that was me and more. She calls me every hour on the hour, <laughs> literally telling me everything that's going on up there. Okay, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Looking at this Three of Pentacles and the Justice card, um, it basically states that you know, uh, you were justified, qualified for the position, you worked very hard, and then finally you got it, okay? The Ace of Pentacles just represents that it's a new opportunity for you. Maybe some of you have never worked in this field before that you're in, okay? Um, some of you may have gotten it on a humbug, you know, you applied for something bigger than yourself, uh, bigger than your qualifications, and it just so happened that they qualified you and they actually hired you. All right. So here you are in this big position. Like I stated, the justice card, usually it has some underlining issues, some everyday things that, you know, are not going to show up um, just on a, a spread like this. So usually I have to beat down the cards to find out exactly what's going on or, you know, like if you're having issues with your employees, if you're having issues with an employer, you know, uh, uh, things like that. OK, so I'm going to. Try to get into this a little bit. Clarify that justice card for me. We got the two of cups. Tell me more. The ace of swords. See, I don't like that two of cups with the ace of swords because that represents separation. All right. So that could be that somebody that you went into business with. Um, if you're in an upper management position, maybe there's someone that you hire to be a manager and you guys are not getting along at this moment, all right? Because the Ace of Swords, it cut both both ways. While it represents truth, it represents clarity, um, it also can represent a split, okay? So this Ace of Swords could sit in the middle of this uh, partnership, all right? So it may be somebody, it, it can be something as simple as uh, someone who trained you. All right. A person that has trained you for the position and then finally they, you know, um, got you the, the job, but then they're jealous in some way. All right. And maybe they're creating some sort of hardship for you. Uh, break me down on this uh, chariot. The chariot, the devil. See, the chariot will represent. You know how you work under someone and when you work under this person, this person teaches you the ropes but then the chariot will represent going your own way. 
you know, going based off of your previous experiences. Uh, life is about experiences and we make decisions based off of the experiences that we go through in life. Okay. So even though this person may have helped you to get the position, they don't expect you to win. And it's crazy how people can be sometimes because someone that you may have considered a friend, someone that you may have considered a mentor could actually turn on you or have some sort of, um, uh, control issues. When I see the devil energy pop up on the chariot, that will remind me of a person that you may have in your stable, maybe someone that you put in a management position that may have some sadistic twisting when it comes to their thinking. Um, if you notice that you are in a position that you're underqualified for, that you've never done before, and maybe you are higher up and you're responsible to hire employees, uh, to work a certain position and you hire this whoever this partnership is here with the two of cups you hire someone to be the management maybe what you don't know is that this person and this could be male and female so this may be talking about a female who's in an upper rank position who hires a man as a manager this man may have some uh, sort of twisted sadistic uh, control issues um what do they call that? Like when, when, when they have like maybe a man who enjoys uh, putting pressure or pain on their employees, you know, letting the position go to their head. If you're noticing that you're losing employees, then you might want to check the management that you hired under yourself because this is an umbrella that we're looking at. Okay, so um, this is stating that spirit really wants you uh, to be smart and to think if I hire someone in a management position and this person is responsible um, for managing like someone under them. And all of a sudden, I'm getting a lot of people under them that keeps quitting or um, that keeps having issues. Then I don't think you want to look at the employee. I think you want to take a look at the management that you put in control. There is a possibility that the management that you hired as manager uh, likes to cut their own throat. That's the saying that I say all the time. You know, they like to cut their own throat, meaning that maybe they're not qualified for the position you hired them at, but they like the ability to have control over other people. And they impose on that individual or their employees a lot. And they're making the position uncomfortable. This is a, a very controlled work environment. This is... Um, a work environment where you're not going to be able to succeed if you trust. If you trust this person that you put in this position, you're not going to be able to succeed because nine times out of ten, this sword is going to turn inward and stab you. All right. So this person doesn't have your best interests at heart. They have maybe an issue with um, control and, and being able to uh, impose or belittle the people under them, which is going to make your work environment not a happy place and making the employees quit all the time, okay? So I want you to take a look at the management that you put in position for management. And I keep, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm stopping because I'm hearing things in my head, okay? <laughs> um, take a look at the management that you put in position or put in uh, control of some things and pay attention to the their employees, if you notice that they're quitting or there is um, some sort of havoc, it could be that this person that you put in management is not very humble. They're into sadistic uh, control. What is that shit that they have? What is that? A, 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 uh, not AMS more. What is that shit? Um, you know how uh, I'm, I'm, I almost get a vision of bondage. What is that shit called when when a person gets into bondage or, you know, like sexual things, but they're in control. They always want to be the dominatrix, um, that sort of thing. It kind of looks like this person, especially if it is a woman I'm looking at who's in an upper management position and you hired a man as management. You might want to check his history out a little bit because it looks like he's into bondage um, and Posing control over people. He's not a very humble individual. Um, and, and it could cause a lot of, it could actually cause your downfall. 
Okay? Clarify that Ace of Pentacles for me. We have the Empress. Okay, so this is representing you. All right? The female that may have been hired in that upper management position. I I'm telling you, I see this as clear as day. This is a woman. Maybe you've never done this before. Maybe you got an opportunity and now you sit as the mother of a company. Um, what this is telling me is that you need to take a look at your lower management. All right. Especially when it comes to a male that you may have hired in an upper ranking position that has control that may be imposing on their employees. That's making the job unpleasant, um, unpleasant and making the employees quit. Pay attention to that. Clarify this Empress. Let's get into the mind of the Empress. We have the Two of Wands. Tell me more. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this was just representing to me that you have a lot of responsibilities, female, whoever you are, that um, got hired at this position. You have a lot of responsibilities, a lot, a lot of fires that's starting at your company. Um, that you may feel underqualified for. You don't really know what to do. So you're looking for a partnership or somebody that you can take with you that can help you. You know, like um, the world is based off of gleaning from others. If you don't have the knowledge of the position that you're getting hired for, the best thing to do is to hire someone more qualified than yourself. Because then you can glean from them their experience to make you a better person. This is what this is talking about with the two of wands and the nine of wands, okay? Now, another thing I want you to pay attention to, and I want you to listen very closely. You don't have to listen to me. You can do it your fucking way, okay? But I'm going to give you what is here. I want you to pay attention to a relationship that is very confrontational. Seems like you got to fight with this individual. <clears throat> It seems like it's a very difficult relationship. You're not really much getting along. Maybe there's a lot of conflict. But there's a partner, a person that is in your stable, under your umbrella, that seems um, uh, confrontational or, or just problematic. Okay? Do not, whatever you do, do not let go of this person because this person is going to be um, the the individual that you need in order to succeed moving forward. If you fire this person or if this person quits in any way, I wish I could explain this the way I'm seeing it. Look at this three of pentacles. Pay attention. All right. This is three people at a position. I want you to think of a triangle. All right. Now, the second person may be the person that actually trained you and got you the job. The third person may be the person that you hired in a management position, okay? So there's three people under this umbrella. I want you to pay attention to the third person that you may have hired because the person you may have hired may be blocking the blessing from the problematic person. If you recently got into an argument this week, all right, today is Thursday. If you got into an argument this week, if you lost an employee that seems very confrontational, maybe someone snapped out on you. It was a big old fight, okay? I'm going to tell you something. I've been doing this for a very long time, okay? I'm, I'm about eight years in. I'm never wrong, all right? I'm not going to lead you the wrong way. I pray very heavenly before I even drop these readings to make sure that I lead you in the right direction. What I say out my mouth comes to pass. And people comment in the comment board, vouch for these individuals that are going through this. Maybe you're not going through this, but you've been with Bella Dutch for a long time. And you know, when Bella says it out of her mouth, it comes to pass. Regardless of how it feels, it may not feel right at the time, but it comes to pass. If you had a fight this weekend, this week, if you lost an employee, a confrontational employee, you lost a very valuable person. This individual may be challenging you because you got to go in your, you know, um, inside of yourself to lower your ego in order to get this person back. Okay? You got to lower your ego. Sort of like what I'm doing, what I did. I took a job that was paying less than what I make. I made significantly less than what I make. But I took it to humble myself. Because I'm dealing with real human beings, real people, okay, with real emotions. And when I don't show up and I don't give videos, that can hurt someone that is about to get married, someone that's about to move forward, you know, and they don't have any direction. And I just left them 
in the cold and now they don't know what to do they don't have the money to book a reading so you know they get by by these free readings that I drop I gotta be responsible for that same as you whoever I'm talking to this woman this mother whoever this mother of this umbrella company okay I'm talking to a woman who is in the upper echelon she is in control she is in charge she may be executive director she may be someone who is in a high up position who can make decisions for a company remember what I told you it's a triangle somebody got you the job you hire someone else and the person that you hire could be male I'm gonna say they are male if they're not male they have masculine energy maybe it's a, a, a you know a transsexual a gay person you know um, LGBTQ IRS whatever the fuck I mean you got a lot of letters in the shit okay I'm not being funny but there's a lot of letters that's being added every day whoever this person is that you hire has sadistic twisted ways about them that makes it impossible they are standing in the middle of your success you got an employee that worked for you that is your person that is going to help you succeed and move up the ladder if you got into a fight this week you lost an employee and I'm giving you the signs the employee is going to be confrontational Maybe you had a fight. Maybe they said some really harsh words to you. Maybe they hurt your feelings because maybe you hurt their feelings because you don't know what's really going on. You're looking at your management team and the management team is hiding whatever the employee is feeling. The employee is your ticket up the road, up the ladder. Get the employee back. If you lost the employee this week, okay? I don't even do this shit. I don't do this employment shit. Okay, you guys know that. I don't do the employment shit. But I'm trying to help you to understand what is going on within your company, okay? I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to open up my broaden my horizons and be able to talk about more things than just love, okay? So I'm telling you, if you lost an employee this week and this employee may have been confrontational, this may have been a friend to you. I don't know. You've been doing this for a while with this person because it's the nine of wands, okay? So this is constantly, you know, a struggle. You know, it's hard. Oftentimes, you guys know I say, whenever you're picking a relationship, whenever you are picking a man or a woman to be with, don't go after the shit that's easy. Don't you ever go after the shit that's easy. Always go after the shit that's confrontational. The thing that challenges you. The thing that challenges you has growth within it. Okay? But a lot of people, when you get through conflict and you get through hardship, you worry about your ego and you don't go back to express your feelings or you don't say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I did something wrong. Okay? I took a position that humbles me. Because I want to say I'm wrong to my home. This is my home. What I do, all seeing eye tarot, this is my home. I'm reading this to tell you guys I'm sorry. I was wrong. I've neglected you. I've put things before you. I have just walked out of my house and said, fuck it. I apologize. Okay? And sometimes you got to be big enough to say, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Things didn't work out right. I didn't see some things that was going on behind my back. But I need you. All right? You better do that. If you're smart, you, you will do that. Okay? Because this is an employee who may be insignificant to you. Okay? They look insignificant. But they're, a they're an angel in disguise. Because they are the thing that's going to take you up the ladder. All right? Because what you can't see is you don't keep your grass low enough. You don't keep your grass low enough so you can't see your snakes that are after you, that are waiting for you to fail. That's all I'm going to say about that employment shit. If you need more on that, hit me up, allseeingeyetarot at gmail.com. You need a personal reading. You're dealing with this, Bella. I just got hired. I am the mother. I'm the empress that you've seen. I'm in charge of this big company. I got all these responsibilities. I don't know what to do. I would rather you reach out to me and talk to me before you make a decision that can cut your damn throat. Okay? Because let me tell you something. One thing people forget is that there is always another person looking to take your position. There's always someone more qualified than you that can step up to the plate, that can deal with the pressure a little bit better than you. Everybody's position is vulnerable. Okay, and that's the biggest thing in life. You start to think that you worked hard, you deserve this, this is going to be yours forever, and you forget that 
we are all one. We are all equal. Okay? So the person that you can be telling to kiss your ass may be your boss tomorrow. That's all I say about that. All right, let's move on. Swiftly and professionally. This next reading. We got the Three of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Now, when I see this, this is talking about love. This is talking about relationships. Someone had a wedding. Someone had an engagement. Someone got into a new relationship where you were supposed to elevate, take the relationship to the next level. However, things fell apart. All right, there's some competition on the horizon and things fell apart. So the part that you can't see is that there's some competition. Maybe your guy started cheating. Your woman started cheating. Okay, um, just when you thought, you, you, let me tell you this. Okay, the Queen of Cups is the overall energy. Okay, the Queen of Cups is the Mother Earth or the Mother of Water, the Mother of Emotions. All right, when the Queen of Cups pops up as the uh, significator of a reading, it basically tells you to focus on your mothering skills, focus on how you're dealing with the public, and how you are transmuting uh, the emotional experiences that you have with the outside world. Okay, how you're transmuting them into successful energy how are you helping other people to succeed how are you helping people to see the real you all right so this whole thing even though i'm talking about employment love and then i'm going to get into some personal shit about your household in this next reading but i need you to understand what spirit is saying is out of order all right. They're saying, Bella, get your ass in your house because there's some things that's happening behind your back and you need to see it. OK, the first thing is employment. I don't like the way that, you know, people that I put in position of authority is handling their jobs. This is what spirit is saying to me. Source God, the all Nahim. I don't like the way people are handling a position they weren't even qualified for. They're not staying humble. OK, even Bella is dealing with it. So remember, if you know me, if you've been with me for these last eight years, I've been in business, then you know that I usually go through what you guys are going to go through later. So I go through it first. All right. So if spirit put me in a humbling position, it's because he doesn't it doesn't like the way I handle my position of authority. It doesn't like the way that I handle um, credibility and uh, stability. OK, so therefore, no matter which way I read these cards, we are talking about the way you handle authority, a position of authority, the way you handle um, a position of elevation, period. All right. So let's get into it. Now, the reason as to why the Queen of Wands popped up is because the Queen of Wands is Aries and Mars. OK. Anybody that has ever had to deal with an Aries individual know that these people are very controlling. These people are usually ahead of the game. But the thing we want to focus on, remember we got the Queen of Cups as the overall mother, the overhead of all readings, okay? Um, the thing we want to focus on is the feelings of being privileged. Now I'm going to get into it. Some of you, you're going to get pissed off. This is for you, Juicy B. Because I know you watch my readings, and I usually don't do this. I usually don't call out nobody that comment, but you asked a question. And I started to say something back, but then I felt like, nah, I'm, I'm going to say it publicly. You said, Bella, you're the most inconsistent person I know. I don't understand how you still have subscribers. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Number one, I am the motherfucking goat of YouTube. That's number one. Nobody. There's not one before me or one after me that can understand and read these cards and deliver it in such a way as to where it reaches the masses. Okay? Not just you. I am responsible for hundreds of thousands of people that are going to click on this video that are going through problems and need help. Okay? But when you left that message, it hit me in my soul and it was true. And I thank you for leaving that message. It was true. I have been the most inconsistent, inconsiderate person. I have taken my gift for granted. 
There are people out here that love me and that need me, need guidance. And I thank you, Juicy B, because you made me come home. I wanted to come home yesterday. It was my birthday, but I was so exhausted. I worked all day. And then my sister had some uh, a surprise plan for me. So I, I couldn't make it yesterday, but I'm here today. I thank you. I'm not saying this to bash you. I'm saying this because the thorn in my side that you delivered was the truth. And you are the reason as to why I took this low paying ass job that I got to bust my, when I tell you I bust my ass, I bust my ass in every day to remember that there are a insignificant i mean there's so many people out here that watch me that love me that need me and appreciate what i do the answer to your question of why i still have subscribers is because i'm the motherfucking goat and i've been here for years okay not just this year Yes, I went AWOL for three months. This last year has been bad for me. I've been disappearing like a motherfucker all year. Okay? Because I'm going through my own shit. I wanted to see, is this for me? Is that something you'll never understand? You have to actually be a light worker to understand the pressures that lay on you. I got my own problems. I got my own shit I'm going through. All right? I live a life of a fucking nun. Every day. I got to go through the problems before you get the problem. So I can be able to explain it to you and teach it to you. You don't understand that. Okay? I go through these problems before I deliver the answers and the way through the journey. I have one child. She's 18 years old. I have lived my life as a fucking nun. She never seen man after man coming through my door. My door has never been a revolving door. Okay? I've been celibate for the last four years of my life. And before that, I hadn't had a man in 12 years. Okay? In order for my daughter to become successful. So be careful what you say. Unless you want the real answer. Because I'm going to give it to you. Everybody knows Bella Dutch is like glass. She's going to tell it like it is. I'm going to tell you the truth. Moving on. Swiftly and professionally. Listen, Linda. The Queen of Wands popped up because, yes, I am speaking about some Aries out there. Aries is the queen of the Queen of Wands. But the Queen of Wands also can stand for a Sagittarius woman. Sagittarius man. A bisexual person that has that Aries or Sagittarius sun or rising sign controlling their lives. It is an individual who feels privileged. Somebody that got in a situation and you feel you deserve it and it ain't going nowhere. High and mighty motherfucker. That's what it is. Someone who thinks that their position is never going to change. I got this man and this is my man and he ain't going nowhere. Because we're talking about love. This is the context of love. Okay? I got this woman and she ain't going nowhere. Because this is my shit. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby girl, baby boy. You can be a Leo son. Your rising may be an Aries or Sagittarius. You can be a, a Aquarius. Your rising may be in Sagittarius or Aries. Whatever. It is a person that carries the Aries or Sagittarius rising. That's your ascendant. Or your, just your chart. Your overall birth chart is ruled by Aries and Mars. So this is a person who feels privileged, who feels in control, who feels like they're the shit. Yes, it is. That's what it is, Linda. You got a relationship, beautiful relationship, beautiful relationship that you felt was going to work out. I don't have to do nothing else. I got the man. Now I ain't got to work. Let me tell you all something. This is for everybody. If you just started a new relationship with someone. As of right now, the statistics is 45 women to one man. 45 women to one man. Now, back in the day, it didn't have to be this way, okay? It was 
You had more men available at your demand. So you could, you had a little bit more options. But right now, you don't have as many options. It's a possibility you can get knocked off your high horse for the better chick. Or a better man. Most of these men, and I'm not bashing at all. By any means, I'm not bashing. But I'm aware. And I'm woke. You got so many men that choose to be girls. And you got another half that choose to be transsexual. And then there's another half that choose, or quarter, that choose to be gay and only like men. So your ratio for heterosexual relationships has went down significantly. So the comfortability you used to feel, you should feel no more. Because you can be put out like that. And that person can move on on you in an instant. It's the truth. I don't give a shit how happy you think you are. People have learned how to keep their cards close to their chest. So they don't tell you if they're happy. So you can be in a relationship with someone, start a relationship, doing everything that you think that you're supposed to do. And you ask them, baby, you happy? And they say yes. And then you get all the way up to planning for the wedding. And then this motherfucker AWOL on you. Yes, it's that way. That's how we get down. Yes, yes. It's that way, Linda. Okay? Queen Mother Water tells you to be emotionally available and understanding that motherfuckers change their mind. Do you understand? I'm going to say it again. People change their mind more fluently now than any time ever before. What a person feels today can change tomorrow. They could have been happy in love with you yesterday. And then tomorrow they met someone that blew their socks completely off and made them walk away from you. What do I do, Bella? I was supposed to get married. I thought I was moving farther with my childhood sweetheart. And then he changed the game on me or she changed the game on me. What do I do? You want my honest answer? Honestly, you move the fuck on, Linda. Charge it to the game and you move the fuck on. Do the Bella Dutch. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. I say that because that is so important with today's vibe. That if you don't use my standards, chances are you're going to run into a brick wall. Because these new age lovers... It's different now. Hear no evil. That means that you don't listen to what somebody has to say about your man, your woman. See no evil. That means that you don't pay attention to no social media, them liking other girls, none of that. They are required to have their own privacy and you the same. This is the way spirit wants you to live in the new age. You don't have to listen to me. You can get off my channel, go find somebody else, and think that they have the answer for you. I'm giving it to you real. Let that person have privacy. You should have privacy as well. Bella, he's not like that. He's controlled. Okay, tell that motherfucker to come sit down at all CNI Tarot. Okay? I'm telling you. You see no evil. You're not watching their their Facebook posts, their Instagram posts, their TikToks. That's none of your fucking business. Because if you're truly a baddie, and you know what I mean when I say baddie, bad bitch, okay? If you're truly a baddie, you ain't got to worry about that because you're doing what you need to do to make yourself happy. Now, see, you're not, you, listen, Linda. You're not going to like what I'm saying right now. You're not going to like it. Y'all know every time I take a hiatus, I come back more charged and more powerful than before. Life is about getting what you can get out of it. If you go into a relationship trying to please your lover, you're going to be disappointed every time. You go into a relationship, you meet a new person and get what you can get out of it. Period. Okay? 
Don't hear no evil. Listen to what people are telling you about your man because chances are the person that's telling you something about your man to be sleeping with that motherfucker tomorrow. Okay? Don't see no evil because you ain't looking through his password. You don't need his fucking password or her password. What the fuck you need that for? That's only making it harder on yourself. Now you got his password, he got your password, you done seen some shit, and you done judged it as if he don't want to be with you no more because he says somebody had a big butt. So what? We're allowed to do that. The person that wins is the person that is less affected. I'm going to say it one more time. The person that wins is the person that is less affected. Why would you be affected by her having a big butt? See a chick like me and say, yeah, she do got a big ass. God damn, how could I get one of those? Period. I'm not going to cuss him out because he acknowledged that she has a big butt. For what? I'm, I'm confident in me. Because I'm getting what I can get out of the situation. You ain't getting what you can get? Okay, then nigga, let's move on. Keep it moving. Speak no evil. Now, this is a very important one. Very important. It's going to be whatever you say it's going to be. This is so important because nowadays we live in an era to where we're taught basically religion. We can't say nothing wrong because God has shunned us. I'm going to move away from that because that can cause an argument, okay? As far as my beliefs is my beliefs. Your beliefs is your beliefs, okay? But I'm going to tell you something that I have known to be true. It's going to be whatever you say it's going to be. All of us has that girlfriend that's been in a relationship with her guy for a long time. And all she does is complain on this motherfucker. She, he's a cheater. All he do is cheat. He like all kind of hoes. He's a, he fuck with hoes. All of us has that type of friend. And that man does exactly what the fuck she says all the time. If you say that to a person every day of their life, they are going to become that. So what would happen if you spoke nothing but positivity over your partner? Aha. Uh -huh. How many of you have tried it? I did that with King. About four years ago, I got involved with King and I did exactly that I tested my own theory before I brought it to you and it worked out very well for me I had a beautiful relationship with King even though you guys felt it wasn't good oh he tried to talk to your subscriber and he did this I left King because my time was done whether you judge King and felt like he did something wrong that didn't affect me because I heard no evil, I spoke no evil, and I see no evil. Literally. Do not accuse your partner of cheating if you are afraid of your man cheating on you or your woman. Do not ask them what they're talking to their ex if you don't want to deal with them talking to their ex. What you say is what it's going to become. Try it. You'll have a much happier life. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. I just gave it to you. So when you're sitting back and you're saying, Bella, it fell apart. The three of cups ran up against the five of wands. I had some competition. Somebody from their past came back and he left me. She left me. Now when I try to call this person, they don't take my calls for pinnacles. Now when I try to talk to this person, they're constantly throwing their ex up in my face, Queen of Wands. It's going to be whatever you say it's going to be. I don't even need clarity on this. I know what it is. I've seen it enough times to know. Anything you hold on to too tightly. See that? Anything you hold on to too tightly. Chances are... It's going to disappoint you. So what are you saying, Bella? I'm saying to get into relationships based off of what you need. And not because you feel, oh, I have to have a relationship because I'm getting too old. I have to have another child before I turn this age. Every 
plan, every goal I've ever set for myself failed. Honest to God. I'm 40 years old. You guys know I only have one child. I said, and I and I quote, if you go to my Facebook, you find me on Facebook, you will see a quote from last year that said, I have to have a child before I'm 40 years old or I'm getting my tubes tied. I turned 40 yesterday, Linda. I'm still not pregnant. I'm not even fucking, so I can't even get pregnant. Every goal I've ever set for myself failed. So what is the proper way? What do you suggest is the proper way to live when it comes to relationships? I just told you. Get what you can get out of the situation and leave the rest alone. Be yourself. Don't become something else that that man wants or that that woman wants because you'll become extremely disappointed. Be yourself. Why did you get into that relationship? What were you hoping to gain from that relationship and get all that? And when it is time to leave and depart, maybe you wasn't meant to marry that motherfucker. And I can guarantee spirit probably saved your life by you not marrying that individual. I made a decision like that about 12 years ago. I married someone because I felt like I was getting too old and I felt like nobody else was going to come for me. I kept turning down engagements. Every man I've ever had in my life has it, you know, proposed to me. So when I got to this last one, like the 10th one, I said, fuck it, I'm going to marry him because I'm going to run out of options. And I married a man based off of the fact that I was afraid I wasn't getting any more opportunities. That was probably the worst marriage I've ever been through in my life. To the point where I don't even think about getting married again because it was so bad the first time around. More about that in a personal reading. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. If this is what you're going through, you need to book a personal reading. Maybe you don't understand. Let me tell you something. Every woman raises their child differently. Every woman raises their child based off of the experiences they have from their own mother. So everybody doesn't have this in their repertoire. Everybody doesn't have what my Mia Moore has. And I understand that. I'm not there to judge you. I'm never going to judge you. I'm never going to call you a fool. I'm just going to tell you how to change it. And anybody that has been with me, I have some subscribers, most of you, okay? Most of the people that still subscribe to me has been with me since the beginning of time. And they know whatever she said, it came to pass. They know I'm compassionate. I'm humble. I'm very humble. I'm very humble. Very. Because I know my position can change tomorrow. I've learned that. Spirit taught me that. Don't be afraid to talk to me about whatever you're going through. That's my job here. If you're afraid to talk to me about what you're going through, then what the fuck am I doing here? Excuse my language, but it's the truth. What am I doing here? I don't have no position here. I'm not here to sell you no hocus pocus. Tell you he's feeling some type of way that he really ain't feeling. And you guys are smart. You're very intelligent. You know when a fucking reader is joking you, jerking your leg, trying to get money out of you. They keep telling you all this positive shit and all negativity is falling apart all around you. Come on now, Linda. Wake the fuck up. Wake up. My subscribers are very intelligent. They expect a lot. You can't hocus pocus them. Because they've been with the Dutch, so they already know. It's either coming real or it ain't coming at all. I need 100% accuracy. I can't afford to make a decision based off of what you want to think it is. This ain't what I think it is. This is what I know to be true. And how do I know it to be true? Because I've already experienced it before you did. All seeing that at gmail.com. Let's get to the next one. This is one that's going to break my heart because I have a young daughter and I can only imagine what some of you are faced up against. This is bad news, so I'm going to prepare you. I'm going to put up a disclaimer. If you're a sensitive individual, if you choose to keep your relationship that you know is no good for you and that is hurting your children, you might want to click the fuck off right now. Because I don't usually talk about this, but it's time to. It's time to because I can't see these babies suffer anymore. Four of Wands, the Moon, Page of Cups, and the Four of Swords. There's some shit going on in your house. 
and it pains me to see that there are some women, some people out there in the world that will do anything to hold on to a relationship. Any fucking thing. Anything. Even at the expense of losing your children. Your children no longer have a voice. Male, female, child. They don't have a voice. Because you want to be happy. So you hold on to a man or a woman that is hurting your child, your baby that is in your house. And your kid has went mute on you. They can't talk to you because when they told you something was wrong. And I'm disappointed to say this shit. I almost want to cuss all through this video. When your child sought you as help. Let me tell you something, women, men. Single mothers, single fathers. You have a responsibility, and that is to protect your children at all costs. If they can't trust you, there's no one in this world that they can trust. I don't give a fuck how bad, how good, how extraordinary this person is screwing you. When it comes to your babies, that motherfucker gotta go if they hurting your babies. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I wish I can protect every woman out there, every male out there that is being hurt in their house and their mother is so digmatized, vaginamatized, that they cannot see the pain that's going on inside the child. This is a hard one. Spirit has brought it to my attention that some of you are yoked to pedophiles. You're linked to rapists. People that are looking at your children foully. And you overlook it because you want somebody to lay next to. Keep you warm at night. Let me tell you something. I'm a very powerful woman. And if ever, if ever, I, I can promise you this. This is not a fucking threat. This is for real. If ever any of your children happen to stumble across my videos. And they reach out to Bella Dutch and they say, I'm being hurt in my home and my mommy will not fix it. You remember the movie Freddy Krueger? Mm-hmm. You know who that is, right? Because if you do, you better tell me because he's after me now. I will be Fred Krueger in your house. If your child ever happens to stumble across my video and you land next to a rapist, a pedophile that's hurting your baby, and you won't let this person go because you need, think you need, somebody to make you happy at the expense of destroying your in, the innocence of your children I promise you I'll be so far up your ass there's not a YouTube cop there's not a security guard there is not a cop on this planet that can stop me from fucking you up okay maybe you need to ask my family who I am and how far I can go I don't like this. I purposely gave up relationships so that my child never had to ever feel uncomfortable in our house. Ever, 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 ever. And it was years. So many years that I sit back and I'm like, what do I have now that she's gone? It's hard. Gave up a lot of relationships so that my baby never had to experience being looked at foully by a man that I was dating being molested in any way I gave up relationships so that I wouldn't be blindsided 18 years it's how long you're required to raise that child 18 years and you can give it up you can do it it's hard as fuck oh Linda I know now if you're in a situation where you're being abused and you have went and sought help from authorities and nobody helped you and you're you're getting your ass whooped. I'm mean, listen, Linda. I'm gonna extend an olive branch to you right now. 
And I promise you, the law cannot get there faster than Bella Dutch. I, listen to me. The law cannot get there. I don't care where you at, what state you're in, what city you're in. The law cannot be in your situation faster than Bella Dutch. If you were in a situation where you're being abused and your children are being hurt by someone, you got a P-Valley situation, Keyshawn shit going on, All seeing at gmail.com. I promise you, there's not a person on earth that can get there faster than me. I will fix that shit to where he will never, she will never, because I got to say she too, because there's some abusive ass women out there that beat the shit out of men. All right? It's not just men beating women. I mean, we got some crazy chicks out there. If you're in a situation where it has now spilled over into your children and you can't get away and it's like Bella I don't know what to do please help me I went to the law and they're telling me that this is my husband he's a cop he's a lawyer and they're not listening to me Bella but he's hurting my babies I swear to God as the Lord is my witness on my daughter me more I swear to you the law cannot get there faster than I can. There is not a Freddy Krueger out here that moved like the Dutch. I promise you. Okay? And that's for those of you that are in a situation that is not your will. It's not what you will to have. Don't call me if you still love this motherfucker and you still want to be with him and he's hurting your babies. Uh uh. Listen. I don't put the brakes on shit. Do you understand? Like, I don't put... There's no brakes. Once you call me and my sisters and my brothers and my family, my entire family knows this about me. If you love that motherfucker, don't call me. If you still want to be with him, don't call me. I can't exert how much pressure to apply to a person. I'm just going to get you out of the shit. Period. It's gone. Finish. Finito. Any means necessary. Do you understand me? And if you don't understand me, you better do some research on me. You better watch some of my videos. If you're first time here, you better learn who the fuck I am. I'm no joke. I play no games. I create change. Everybody that has ever sat in my chair, if you've ever got a reading at allseeingitarot at gmail.com, you know that your life has changed forever. My, my life was never the same after I got a reading. I mean, shit just changed. How is that possible? How is that possible? How did Kevin Gates say it? I say the same. What did he say? I stay the same and then do the opposite. I say the same and then do the opposite. Okay? I am strictly here for the public. Period. I'm here to help people. I'm here to create change. Period. That's it. That's it. That's all. It's not the money that matters to me. I don't care about none of that. You can't. You can't fake me out, okay? So if you think that you're going to sit there and try to claim it's better than you think... Listen, Linda, don't even waste your fucking... I'm real. I'm the real deal. Don't waste your time sitting here. Oh, I'm really going through... Pro I'm going to see everything. Do you understand? When you sit in my chair, you make a vow to God that, okay, I'm going to open my life in front of this woman and she's going to see everything. I can't hide anything. Okay, I've had many try over the eight years I've been in business. I have many tries sit there. Oh, yeah, it's worse than what it is. Or I want you to do this and create change here only to get embarrassed in the motherfucker because see, I know what's real. I'm not a joke. There's a lot of jokers out here, but I'm really not the joke. Okay, do not come to me if you're not ready for change. I'm warning you. This is a fucking warning. I don't know why y'all play with it. I'm warning you. Disclaimer. Back the fuck up. If you don't want your life to change, if your life is so perfect and you don't need nobody to fix it, do not come to Bella Dutch at all seeing that terror. Do not. You better find somebody else. You better find one of these fake people on YouTube. Do not sit in my chair. I'm going to create change. Period. It's going to change. It's not going to ever look the same. I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that as the truth. This is not a warning. This is the truth. I'm telling you. It's not going to look the same. 
Because I am a fixer. I am a doctor of this shit. Do you understand? I am the biggest doctor that you have down here on the physical plane. I am a doctor of this shit. I fix shit. I change shit. I move shit out the way. Okay? Period. I am a spiritual lawyer. That has been my position since the time I was born. You do what you want with that. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. You want a personal reading? You're going through some things that you need to change. If any of those three stories hit your spirit, you're going through that and this wasn't enough. Because this is a free reading. And just like I told Juicy B and everybody else, let me I'm not in I am not entitled to drop free readings because I'm the truth. I'm not a joke. <laughs> I'm, I don't have to give you, I've given you eight years of my life. I don't have to give you a free reading every week. I just don't. I only come when change needs to come. Do you understand that? I need all of you who are watching my channel right now, hit that thumbs up. It takes nothing to hit the likes up button, okay? Hit the thumbs up. I fell out of algorithms. I know I fell out of the algorithms because I've been going around. But if you hit the thumbs up, you could save a life, a few laps. Hit the thumbs up. Bella Dutch at All Seeing Eye Tarot only comes when change is needed. I am not required by the court of the heavens, of the Om Nahim. I am not required. To give you a reading every week. Because change doesn't happen that swiftly. Do you understand that? I'm not required. That's hocus pocus shit. I'm not a hocus pocus chick. I only come. When the world is being affected. When the collective can't move forward on something. Period. Has to be enough people going through some shit for Bella to upload. Do you understand now? Do you understand that? I'm going to say it again. For all of you. All of you that has been with me for a while. Most of you know it. If you're Bella Duchess babies, you know it. We know she's only going to come when there's problems. When it's big. I only come when the collective can't move forward on something. When big change needs to happen. Because when I speak, things align. Do you understand that? Things change in your life. This is not a hocus pocus reading. This is for real. And every blue moon in life, you get someone who can sit down here and speak effectively. That means when they speak, change happens. So I'm not required to do a reading every week. Do you know how many changes would take place if I did a reading every week? No, Linda. You don't want that. You don't want that. There are some things that are out of order right now, so you're going to see me around for a little bit. There are some things that's out of order. I don't like the way my house looks. I don't like those three readings. The employment situation, those of you that have begged for higher positions, more money. You got in a position and you forgot where you came from. I don't like that. Number two, you finally got the relationship of your dreams. You started to get comfortable, so you stopped working. I don't like that, Linda. Number three, you're so desperate to have a relationship that is hurting your babies. I don't like that. So I'll be at home for a while. Like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Throw the thumbs up. You want me to stay in the house? Takes nothing to hit the like up button. You have to do that because I am no longer in the algorithms. I've been gone so long. You might be stopping somebody that need to hear that. Maybe that wasn't you. That ain't me, Bella. I'm doing good. I mean, I, hi, boo. I miss you. Okay, just hit the thumbs up. Somebody's in trouble, and I'm home. The queen is back.